Um, thank you for having me here today. My name is Andreas. Uh, I work at Podio, uh, and I'm here to uh, tell you a little bit about the Podio REST APIs, uh, what you can do with them, um, give you a brief overview of the different use cases, and uh, give you a couple of examples of, uh, of apps that's been built on top of the Podio APIs. Um, so if we start with the very basic things first, um, you, what is the Podio API? Um, the Podio API is, a, is an API that gives you a full uh, access, programmatic access to um, all your data on Podio. It's a pure data API. It doesn't deal with uh, modifying the Podio UI in any way, shape, or form. It only deals with, with your data. Um, it's something that we provide to all Podio users. You don't have to be a uh, paying user to uh, use the Podio API. It's also available to, to free users. Um, there are two very broad categories um, uh, that, that people use the, the Podio API for. Um, one is for internal systems within organizations. Um, you have a need that is not covered by the basic Podio product, and you can sort of build internal systems uh, to interact with Podio in a programmatic manner. Uh, this is also typical if you don't want uh, to have your data passed through uh, uh, fourth party, I guess, if you're the third party. Um, the other big uh, category for use of the Podio API is to build uh, complete third party products uh, on top of our API. And I'll have a couple of examples uh, to show about that. Um, so if you look at the, the, the broad categories for for using the Podio API, there's, a, there's a five main uh, categories for usage. Uh, the first one is to build uh, automated workflows or data synchronization uh, solutions uh, to interact with Podio. So you have data in Podio, um, and, uh, but you also have data in a, in a, in a secondary system. Uh, for example, if you're managing time tracking in an external system, but you still want to synchronize your timesheets back into Podio. Uh, you can use the API to, to do all sorts of data synchronization that way. Uh, another big uh, uh, area is data migration, where uh, typically uh, people come in as new Podio users. Uh, they have vast amounts of data lying around from legacy systems, uh, and uh, it would be a shame to to lose all that history when you start uh, um, taking, uh, taking in a new tool uh, like Podio. So people will use the Podio API uh, to write uh, small migration scripts. They're pretty trivial to, to write, to sort of pull a legacy data out of, of old systems and into Podio so that you can bring them with you uh, as you go along. Uh, a third uh, usage category is to build data visualizations. Um, inside Podio, we do a few uh, ways to visualize the data that you have or to aggregate the data that you have. Um, but there are many custom needs when it comes to data uh, visualizations. So you can use the Podio API to pull your data out, out of Podio and display them uh, in, uh, in any way that you want, whether it's charting or, or, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to show an example of that later. Um, it's also a way to uh, sort of aggregate data that you have. So if you have uh, discrete data in, in many different Podio apps, you can sort of uh, use the API to pull all that data uh, together, uh, perform uh, aggregate, uh, operations on it and then present the results. Uh, fourth big entry, uh, a th fourth big uh, uh, category is to, to create customized apps for data entry. Um, this is, um, if you have users that you don't want to, for some reason, they can be uh, external stakeholders, for example, that you don't want to invite into your Podio workspaces as uh, standalone members uh, because they don't need or they shouldn't have access to all the data that's in there, but you still want them to be able to submit new data in there. It could be, for example, if you have a, a, a feedback form for customers um, or if you have uh, employees that uh, needs a, a lower uh, trust level but still needs to be able to submit data, 
you can use the API to build a, a, your own custom app with your own custom UI that will simply submit data uh, into your Proteo apps where you can then take it uh, further and collaborate around it just as you would collaborate around any other uh, Proteo data. And the last category is to do real-time monitoring of Proteo content um, with our API we uh, expose several different methods uh, for monitoring real-time changes to your Proteo content, uh, whether it's uh, creating uh, notification systems, desktop notification systems that will alert you when your Proteo inbox uh, receives new notifications, or whether it's to uh, uh, run custom scripts whenever new content is created in specific apps or content is updated in specific apps. Um, so let's uh, take a look at uh, a couple of examples uh, about what you can do with the, with the Podio API. The, uh, the biggest examples of, of, of Podio API products are the Podio.com app itself, uh, our web app, and our uh, mobile clients for iOS and Android. The Proteo API uh, is, the, the API we expose to third parties is the exact same API that we use internally. Um, that gives us uh, quite a few advantages. Most importantly, our API is never out of date because whenever we implement new features or we change existing features, our API has to change for our own clients to, to stay up to date and working. So you'll never be in a situation as a third party developer where you're thinking, oh, there's a new feature, but I have to wait for the API to, to become uh, uh, compliant. That will never happen on Podio because we need it internally as well. So our, our own web app, our own mobile apps run on the exact same API as, uh, as we expose to third parties. Uh, you could even, if you had enough time, uh, <laughs> build your own clones uh, of the Podio web app or the Podio mobile apps if you really wanted to. But let's take a look at a couple of uh, uh, full-fledged third-party products that are built on top of the Podio API. Uh, the first example here launched uh, just this Monday, I believe. It's called SmartGant. Uh, SmartGant is a data visualization product built on top of Podio. You, many Many people use Proteo for project management, so managing your milestones and your deliverables and your entire project plan on Podio. And Podio is a great tool uh, for doing this, just that because you, you get the easy collaboration. Um, what we don't have specifically is that Podio does not offer a Gantt chart visualization of your milestones or your uh, deliverables. So SmartGant is, an, is, an, is a web app, it's a, it's a SaaS service that you can uh, go to the SmartGant website, you can uh, click for a free trial, you, can, uh, you will then be asked to authenticate with Podio, you, will be, uh, you then pick the specific apps that you use for milestones and deliverables and all the other uh, project management elements. Uh, and then SmartGant will, will build a Gantt chart for you based on your Podio data. Not only is it a visualization that will uh, display the data that you already have, you can also drag and drop uh, the um, progress of the individual uh, deliverables. You can drag and drop milestones and everything will update back into Podio in real time. So it's a great example for how to build a complementary product on top of, on top of Podio. Like you, um, you can do filtering and sorting and so on. Um, if we take a look at another example in a, in a very different category is, is, is a product called Globy Flow built by a Podio partner uh, that delivers uh, workflows to Podio. Podio has a very simple workflow uh, system that allows you to sort of create comments and, and tasks when, when specific actions happen inside Podio. But it is uh, a rather limited uh, feature set. Globiflow sort of is, is built on top of the API. It's the same, same deal. It's a, it's a web app. You go, you authenticate with Podio. You, uh, uh, and then you can start creating the workflows. And it's a, it's a very simple process. You select a trigger, some filters, and some actions to happen. Um, 
and it uses globiflow underneath uses our webhook system that provides real-time uh, notifications for change, changes to your Podio apps. So whenever a field value changes, Podio will notify uh, your workflow, and your workflow can take the appropriate actions. Um, so those are two uh, full-fledged third-party products built on top of the Podio API. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, that advanced to get started with the API. Typical simple starter use cases will be around data migration where you just need to uh, grab some data that you already have access to and push it into Podio so you can start collaborating about it. And it is very easy to get started with the Podio API. Um, on purpose, uh, we built everything on top of open standards. Um, it's HTTP really HTTPS. There's no unsecure connections to the Podio API. It's JSON for the, for the individual payloads, and we use OAuth for uh, authentication. Um, that means that you can leverage your existing tool set. No matter what programming platform you come, come in with, you can use your existing tools because they will have uh, libraries to, to use these technologies. So you're never starting from scratch. But on top of that, we're even uh, offering client libraries for a number of programming platforms. So we have .NET, PHP, Ruby, Java, Python, iOS. And we even have an Android uh, SDK that uh, just got into beta so um, soon ago that I didn't even have time to put it on the PowerPoint. Um, with these client libraries or SDKs, you don't even have to deal with the nuts and bolts of how to do authentication or how to parse responses and so on. It's all managed for you. You sort of just uh, use our classes and our objects uh, to uh, store and uh, send data back and forth between you and the Podio API. So those are some uh, very basic intros to what you can do with the API. Uh, you can find more information on the uh, Citrix developer website. There will, there will be uh, API reference documentation, there will be example codes, tutorials, and links to our client SDKs. So uh, thank you all for having me here today. And uh, if you have time, feel free to uh, fill out our survey here uh, at the end. Thank you.